Hi there, folks. This is Sean Broderick. I'm at the New Orleans Investment Conference, and I am seated next to Bob Archer. Now, Bob and I go back a long time. I mean, uh, his his company, Great Panther Silver, is... Um, I have watched this company grow. I have seen it go through hard times and good times. Bob is a master at leading this company. I don't want to give you too much buildup because many of subscribers, <laughs> many of my many of my subscribers probably don't know you. But um, could you just explain to them just about Great Panther and what your company is doing? Sure thing, Sean. Um, well, um, as you know, I'm one of the co-founders of Great Panther. Uh, we started the company in 2004. Um, picked up a couple of past producing lines in Mexico. Had them both in operation 2006, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been producing silver, gold, a little bit of lead zinc uh, since 2006, and uh, we're still growing our production, um, hitting uh, new records uh, this year, and we've managed to get our grades up, costs down to the point where we're uh, actually making money in this environment. That is a really good accomplishment. Now, those mines down in Mexico, I have been to them, and uh, it's amazing. These mines that have been worked since the days of the of the conquistadors, and yet you guys keep finding more and more mines, and you now have a mine down there with like higher grades and stuff, right? So that's lowering your costs and all that stuff's going on. That's really cool. It's, it's very cool. Uh, you know, the mine that we're focused on right now, called San Ignacio, is just outside the city that you visited at Guanajuato, and um, that property came with the package that we bought in 2005. And we, although we were originally focused on the main mines, we uh, discovered a new zone uh, at San Ignacio property in 2010. Uh, and uh, mineralization is very close to the surface, so we were able to just ramp into it, get into production quickly, and we just trucked the ore around to, uh, to Guanajuato. So um, in the last quarter, 52% uh, of our throughput from that mill at Guanajuato was coming from San Ignacio. Oh, great. And the grades are a little bit higher, the gold grade in particular. And uh, mining is cheaper since it's uh, ramp access, and uh, that's all helped to uh, uh, to keep our costs down. Yeah, in like the old mine, big old me had to squeeze on this little <laughs> elevator with another guy, and it's like being slotted down into a gun. It was like, it was like really tight. But it was a really interesting experience. But you guys have a new mine in uh, Peru, or a new property, right? New project, that's correct. It's a, it's a two-year option. Uh, we took a slightly different approach, um, uh, given the uh, the times that we're in right now. And the mine's on care and maintenance. It's owned by Nearstar. And um, rather than just buying it outright uh, and using cash or having to go back to the market and raise some at uh, these lousy uh, share prices, mm -hmm. we decided um, to just structure it as a, as a two-year option, which gives us basically two years to de-risk the project and uh, just pay for it incrementally and, uh, and work on it as we go. So it's, it's a great way to, uh, to proceed. And um, uh, at the end of the day, if we uh, continue to like what we see, then uh, we can pull the trigger on the option, uh, buy it outright for $8 million, um, including the option payments. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the total. And um, uh, it has a 600 ton per day uh, plant. It's fully operational, permitted. Um, and uh, the project itself uh, has a historic resource uh, of almost 150 million ounces of silver equivalent. Wow. So there's a, you know, a substantial resource uh, sitting there that uh, we're just starting to, to drill, uh, uh, redefine uh, ourselves now. And um, uh, we, it's the sort of operation that we could probably have it back uh, into production within about six months of actually making that decision. Oh, cool. So uh, if things go well, we're hoping that uh, perhaps by the end of 2017 we could be uh, up and running in Peru. Great. So you have higher production, higher grades, lower costs. Um, things are improving in, like, Mexico, and you have that new mine that you brought online. Um, and you're making money. So uh, am I missing anything, or is that pretty much the story? Um, well, I mean, there's one more project that we have in Mexico as well, actually, uh, a new one. Um, it's a little earlier stage, but there's uh, there's also a resource on that project. That's uh, gold silver, mm -hmm. and uh, that's an option from Vista Gold. And uh, our aim is to move that forward uh, as well. And uh, if we can bring that into production, that would be about four years out. And uh, between Coracancha in Peru and Guadalupe de los Reyes in Mexico, the two of them have uh, the potential to more than double the size of the company. Wow. In that sort of four to five years. All right. So pretty substantial growth. 
Good news from Great Panther. Um, of course, things will depend on the price of silver. I hope for all our sakes it goes higher, yeah, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Because, I mean, as, as of now, we're still able to pay for these new projects out of cash flow. And yeah. we'd like to keep doing that. Yeah. Um, but, of course, we need the cooperation of the metal prices. So. Right. All right. Yeah. Well, um, thanks very much for speaking to my subscribers. I hope you folks found this interesting. Um, and um, stay pleasure, tuned. Sean. And um, I'll try to have more interesting things for you. Thanks again. Thank you.